Sarach, Ecclesiasticus, 26. Blessed is the man that has a virtuous woman, for the number of his days shall be double. A virtuous woman rejoices her man, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. A good woman is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear Yahuwah. Whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward Yahuwah, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. There be three things that my heart fears, and for the fourth I was sore afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman, and a scourge of the tongue which communicates with all. An evil woman is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that has hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. A drunken woman and a gadder abroad causes great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. If your daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Watch over an impudent eye, and marvel not if she transgression against you. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain, and drink of every water near her. By every hedge she, rather, every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. The grace of a woman delights her man, and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of Yahuwah, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent, mind, cannot be valued. As the sun when it arises in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good woman in the ordering of her house. As the clear light is upon the holy menorah, so is the beauty of the face in ripe age. As the golden pillars are upon the sockets of silver, so are the fair feet with a constant heart. My son, keep the flower of your age sound, and give not your strength to strangers. When you have gotten a fruitful possession through all the field, sow it with your own seed, trusting in the goodness of your stock. So your race which you leave shall be magnified, having the confidence of their good descent. A harlot shall be accounted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her man. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a righteous woman is given to him that fears Yahuwah. A dishonest woman contemns shame, but an honest woman will reverence her man. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear Yahuwah. A woman that honors her man shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonors him in her pride shall be counted wicked of all. A loud crying woman and a scold shall be sought out to drive away the enemies. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third makes me angry, a man of war that suffers poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returns from righteousness to sin. Yahuwah prepares such one for the sword. A merchant shall hardly keep himself from doing wrong, and a huckster shall not be freed from sin.